You're like a frail maiden on the Frail. Floor. Have you seen my abs? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Power Attack. My name's Seth, and today I'm going to be playing more Dark Souls 3, provided it wants to behave, which it looks like it does. Um, as you might have noticed, I did figure out a couple things. I, um... I, I figured out how to, uh get my covenant placed i was being stupid it was in the uh item like it, it was in the equipment slots it wasn't in um just like the regular inventory i did also record a couple of episodes earlier and they didn't work so i have a vague idea of what i need to do to proceed um there's our friend up there you know having a good old time I haven't I still haven't reached the next boss. In fact, I, I managed to revert and basically go back to the save I was on before recording because I've been backing up all my saves and I've been keeping an alternate file um, that I keep at the same spot roughly every time I record so that you know in events like this I can still get this footage. Um, but yes, I, I have already been through this area, more or less, at least once. Um, I found out that to get to that guy, I need to go this way. Which is important, because I believe I can get him to stop shooting arrows at me. Which is going to make life a whole lot easier on me over by, uh... Over by that area where... Ow. 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 Chugging on that Estus Flash. Oh, there's a thing I can do, actually. Hang on. Forget this. There's a secret over this way, and crows that clip through the, the walls, which I mean is always a good thing. Now, these guys are gonna be cheeky fucks. Do that. Slicey. Slicey, slicey. Oh, there's an enemy that I don't know. I, well, I guess it's not technically an enemy because it's not hostile, but it's, it is exactly the same as one of the enemies that we previously encountered. Like, literally, it's the same thing. It just, for some mysterious reason... Changes. Like, I don't... Like, for whatever reason, this iteration is not hostile. And I'll show you that in a second. I have to go back around because I'm an idiot. I love the the physics in this game like it's just it's such a dumb thing to find as enjoyable as i do uh we go up oh no we go around here for this guy okay so i don't know what's up with this this guy isn't hostile another nana disappeared so grand and carry the cage he ever had his cage and nana's never coming back so come into the cage and become Nana's shade. I'm not sure if I said it, but I did also, um, I bought some things from the thief that we let out of the cell back in the, uh, high wall of Lothric. Um, that's where I got these new leggings and, uh, 
and uh, head wrap. This guy is weird. I, so the first time I encountered him, what ended up happening was I, I walked up behind him and was expecting to end up having to like fight him. He doesn't aggro, and you can do this. So yeah, there's a, he carries me off and I guess drops me down here. I'm not sure what the path here is yet. I'm, I'm wagering that there's a boss fight here later because there were some blood stains. although they could just be fighting that guy. There's lots of cages and like it's such a big open area, like it just, it feels like boss fight territory. Hello. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you sane folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? <laughs> yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are, but we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is you better things to do. <laughs> and I can go over here, and I got this thing from uh, that phantom that we killed. So what he gave me was um, another covenant, which is equipped right here. And I haven't done anything with them yet, um, but I'm, I'm guessing from what little bit I know, any kill might lead to another shackle. That those vertebrae shackles are like the PvP thing. Uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get this. And we'll go to the bonfire last rest of that. I don't need to go back to the shrine. And yeah, so that's one part done. I have to go back that way again, but I, I looked around previously when I did the other run through that got lost and I couldn't find another way out. So I'm guessing that that's the only way to get out of there is to Homeward Bone. I didn't see, like, I saw some high area that looked like maybe you could get down from up there, but I didn't see any way up. So I think it's reasonable to assume that that's, that's it. That's the extent of it. Um, they won't aggro, so we just get to rush these guys. And we're going to try and be a little better about killing this guy this time. I'm realizing I've fucked up! Huh. 
I forgot that those two were there. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. This might have been a mistake. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, but no item. That's okay. No. There's a bunch of items over there, but that's not what we care about yet. I seem to recall. Let me go back. I think I need I think it's over this way. I think there's a bonfire over here. I can't remember though. I was right! This is where the bonfire is. I know it. I go in here. And haha! -ha. I don't care about the souls or the Estus flasks that I wasted getting down here because <laughs> because I can rest. I can go this way. And I'm going to get up here and murder those guys throwing the uh, fire at me, the fire bombs at me because fuck them. <laughs> Sir, I was trying to two-hand my Uchi Katana. Let me two-hand my sword. Hello. Aha, unkindled, are we? Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. I hear the unkindled make for fine vessel. Care to learn some pyromances from this old man? Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Goodbye. I find it interesting that his home, his abode, was um, quite literally a cage. I, uh, I have a feeling he wasn't there by choice, but I don't have proof of that, to be fair. It's incredibly uh, possible that he chose to stay there. Now, I'm not going to bother going over that way because the door does not open as I learned very painfully the first time, because there are a lot of very dangerous enemies. I didn't aggro you, did I? Good. Uh, I will go get... There's a thing behind that tree. And we're gonna go get that before those guys walk over. Thank you. Now, there's a number of very difficult enemies ahead, so we're gonna try and handle this on a case-by-case. I don't get it. Need you to run a little faster there, Skipper. Get burned. Over here. 
And there's more summon signs because everyone hates this area, I guess. I can see why. Oh, forgot about you. I forgot about you. But you died all the same. There's a ring down this way. Along with my good friend Pinky. I don't know where the brain is, but you might be able to see Pinky right there. Hey, Pinky. Pinky is the dead, 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 dead. Uh, and we can equip, I have a number of rings. We can equip that, and we can equip that. And we can go ahead and open this nice, lovely little shortcut, which leads back to that bonfire. Uh, which will be very useful here in a moment. Well, it'll be useful in the context that once we're able to stop the giant that seems to be firing arrows there, uh, we can head back there much faster. Although, this next area is a little bit difficult. Because of these guys, who I hate. Haha. -ha. First you, come here. We're going to do this one at a time. Slicey, slicey. Now you. That's right. Okay. Now, it's unfortunate because it looks like you've both aggroed, which I, uh, I expressly told you not to do. But that's okay. I forgive you. throw his load. Oh! Um. Oh. Okay. That's fine. That makes it easier on me. I do not care. Good luck getting back up here, you piece of shit. Last one. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. why he didn't throw his like obviously they do at a certain length I don't know why he just doesn't seem to aggro up close but it makes life a little bit easier on me so I'm not really complaining now we get to go over here and talk to this gentleman Hello, sir. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? I mean, all you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve I respect. have a face. Hmm. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. I'm pretty you sure I could kill you. In this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the Frail. Front line. Have you seen my abs? If like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion. Then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> 
If like the others, you'll fucking go on ahead. <laughs> I don't remember. Do you if have like anything to give to me? <laughs> no? Alright, fine. No. Fuck off. See you next time, you piece of shit. Mm -hmm. That door over there is locked, by the way. But, even if it wasn't, we have much more important matters to attend to. absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so... We're gonna ascend to the top of this tower next time. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider liking, commenting on the video, and subscribing to the channel. Also, share with everyone you know. Share with your friends, family, grandma, aunts, uncles, nephews. Share with random people on the street. Definitely share to Facebook. Um, if you haven't liked the video, that's fine. Um, if you, 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 you can dislike the video, but please leave a comment explaining why. Um, it would definitely help us out. We, it's the only way we can know what to improve upon in future. Um, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.